mentioned more than once, uh, you're probably getting tired of hearing about it, but in Psalms 138, uh, God mentions that He will fulfill His purpose for you, for me. He will fulfill His purpose, not my purpose. And I mentioned this to you last time, and I, I said I would come up with an example of where God moved heaven and earth to fulfill His purpose for someone. And uh, I'm going to tell you that story right now. By the way, this story, it's in uh, Judges 4 and 5, and it's about a judge named Deborah. She was a prophetess and a judge. And I was coming home from my uh, visiting my brother in Pasadena the other day, and on the way home I turned on the radio and I listened to a sermon by a guy by the name of Adrian Rogers. He's a preacher. They had one of his sermons on, and uh, it's hard to do because Adrian died in 2005, but uh, they uh, keep his sermons up, and they are, uh, it's very good. The guy's got a great preacher voice, and in it he was actually preached a sermon on what I'm getting ready to tell you, and it is a moving story. It has to do with the fact that Way back when, way before David and all, when there weren't any kings, uh, there were judges. And Deborah, the prophetess, was a judge over Israel. And Israel had done so bad that God let the Canaanites take them over. And the Canaanites were in control of Israel for 20 years. And finally, the uh, Israelites just kept crying. And they went to God like they should have done in the first place and said, please help us. So God went to Deborah and instructed her on what to do to get rid of the Canaanites. And it involved a warrior from the uh, Israelites, a guy by the name of Bar uh, Barak, I almost said Barak, but it's Barak. Barak uh, and Deborah went down with 10,000 soldiers to fight against the Canaanites. Now the commander-in-chief of the Canaanites was a guy by the name of Sisera. Sisera bragged about he had 900 chariots of iron and uh, it doesn't say how many soldiers, but they outnumbered the Israelites tremendously and God said, uh, go take these 10,000 people and I'll destroy them for you. And son of a gun, the story goes on and it's very interesting and you might want to read that. I uh, recommend you do it in uh, Judges 4. But in Judges 5, Deborah writes a song about it, the whole experience. And in this, she explains a little more about what happened. And there is a verse in this song that is just monumental. It's the verse that says that God will move heaven and earth to accomplish what he wants. And Deborah says in Deuteronomy 5, verse 20, They fought from the heavens. The stars from their courses fought against Sisera. You know what God did for them to win? They fought from the heavens. God, the stars from the court, their courses fought against Sisera. Sisera thought he was going against 10,000 Israelites. He was fighting against heaven and the stars and against God. If God wants to fulfill his purpose, abide with him and he'll abide in you. And if that's what he wishes to do, he can use you to do just about any, not just about, he'll use you to do uh, whatever his will is for you. That is a great example. And when I think of a power that promised all things will work together for good for you, he promised that. A power that can actually see that happen, something horrible happens in your life, and he says, hey, I can make that turn out for good for you, and I will. What a promise. And a power that can let the heavens and the stars help out. I really don't know what that means, but it's unbelievable. I think if we could see out there, it would uh, just be staggering. What an encouraging thing for me, and hopefully it is for you. Thanks for listening. I appreciate it. We'll check you next time.